Hello YouTube, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, this is Mark and uh, this is my channel where I just talk about some of the things that I have had, some questions, issues, items that I've looked into, researched, just trying to share that knowledge with you guys. Um, I am not sponsored or paid for by anybody on anything. Uh, this is all for my personal collection and for my own shooting and my shooting hobbies. And uh, what I'm going to go over today are double range bags in different sizes. I have a 28 inch, a 36 inch, and a 42 inch. And I'm going to go over the, the, uh, the size of the bags. Uh, not necessarily a deep dive into the bags because they're all pretty much the same as far as pockets and stuff. But I'll, I'll go over that real quick. Uh, I just did a review on the 36 inch Tacticon. Uh, to show you why I purchased that bag, and I'm pretty impressed with that bag. Um, but then use some examples, show you guys some of the rifles that'll fit in, in each of these different bags to kind of give you an idea of what's going to work best for you when you're out looking for a bag. Uh, if you like the content that I have, please subscribe. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please make them. I try to answer every question or every comment that's posted in any of my videos. Uh, may not be the same day that you post it, but I try to get to it within a couple of days. Um, so I've got the three bags, as I mentioned. The uh, the top one, the 28-inch uh, one, is one I got off of, of Amazon. It's a no-brand bag. I, I don't know who the maker is. They're probably all made in China, so they're all coming out of the same place. Uh, this is a Dakota Tactical uh, patch I've got on it. So the black one is the 28 inch, the Coyote. The next one down is the 36 inch. And then the bottom one is a Drago 42 inch. They're all double gun bags. Um, and the black one I've used the most because generally what I have been shooting the most have been a lot of the sub guns, a lot of the competitions I do. I shoot the MP5 platform, stuff like that. But I've found that some of the guns that I like to shoot don't fit in here. Uh, they're close, but they just don't work. And I'll kind of give you some examples as far as what I'm talking about as far as those go. So, anyway. So they're all double range bags. This particular one does not have any shoulder straps on the back. But it does have a single strap that you can attach, which is fine if you want to throw it over your shoulder. It's a... Like I said, it's a no-name. If anybody's interested, I can try to go through my, my Amazon history and, and find it for you if you want to see it. It wasn't very expensive, if I remember right. It was the, the cheapest out of all three of them. Uh, but it's got pretty much the same thing. you got three pockets on the front, which are all the same. For all the bags we go through, it's all going to be the same kind of pockets. So you've got the three pockets in the front. I usually keep uh, mags in one and then miscellaneous gear in the other one. It does not have... A secondary pocket like the other like the next ones do it's just the pockets on the front and then the internal um, area for the uh, for the guns so it's kind of a plain Jane if you like something with a lot of pockets you're probably gonna be missing out on this there's also no molly straps so you can't attach anything to it but for what I've been using it for it works fine so like I've stated double gun bag padding on the side is about three quarters of an inch and then you've got a single like a half inch divider in the in the center but now the question comes in what will fit in here all right so obviously your and I'm going to be using the HK guns for an example today so the K MP5 K Obviously, if it's shortened, you've got a lot of room. You've got a lot of room on both sides. This actually fits in a much smaller bag that I have if I'm going to fold the stock like that. When the stock's fully out, it fits in the bag nicely. you got maybe a couple inches on both sides that you can play with it. Okay, but between the straps and the pockets, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay? The next gun is the MP5 with the A2 stock, so it's got the fixed stock on it. 
This is as long as you can go because you can see the butt is up against this pad, the barrel's up against this pad. You can't go, you can't go any longer in this bag. Okay, because that's it, you're maxed out at that point. So, but for going back and forth to the range, it works out fine. Just throw it in, it's not a problem. Where I run into an issue with this bag, hold on, let me put this gun down. is if you want to shoot the SD okay this is mp5 SD a2 stock it's fixed no bueno okay it's too long for the bag it doesn't fit uh, when I've had to use this bag before I have to take the suppressor off to carry it and obviously put the suppressor back on when I get there if you had an a3 stock on it it would fit because the A3 stock would shorten it up to about here, so you'd be fine. But for the full A2 stock, it's not going to fit. So the longest gun that you can get in here with a fixed stock is going to be the MP5. All right. So that's the 28-inch bag. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Next one down, this is the new Tacticon. This is the 36 inch bag. As I pretty much went over with the other one in, in my review, you got different pockets, you got your molly straps on the side. <clears throat> the reason I like this bag is because the shoulder straps are maintained within this. This is the main reason I bought this. The shoulder straps are maintained within this zipper bag. I don't use shoulder straps often, but if I wanted them, the, the backpack straps, I'd want to have them here. And you'll see on the Drago, they just dangle off the back or I'd have to take them off. So, what you can do with this one, now the padding is also a little thicker in this bag than it was on the other one. So, obviously the MP5 The MP5 will fit in here. You've got your pockets, your straps. But if I put it in, it's a little short, but these straps would keep it in place. This is probably going to end up being my go-to bag from here on out. So, I mean, again, put these in like this. you got the Velcro strap, so it's not going to go anywhere. The SD fits it perfect. That's the perfect, perfect bag for the SD with the suppressor on it. Fits it outstanding, no issues whatsoever. Now we're going to move up into the ARs. So, next one. All right, so this is my, uh, uh, what's it, PWS, and this is the 11.85. Uh, length barrel on it, which is an SBR. With the suppressor on it, it fits. And this is with the stock in the number three position. So I could close this bag with this can. So for an SBR with a kit, now this is a, a Yankee Hill machine uh, T2, it's not the K, it's the full size. Uh, obviously, you get anything any longer on here, and you're going to go off the end. It's also because I've got it. Um, with a cherry bomb on here, so it's really short. So if you had a device or anything on here, you may have issues, you might have to take the can off. But for an SBR, for this one, it fits perfect. I have no issues with this whatsoever. <clears throat> now you move up. If we go to an AK, no bueno. If you, I take that back because I've got this um, this Epsilon uh, device on the front actually and I can't even angle it with that on there either so if you just had the slant muzzle brake on here an AK would would fit 
It'd be snug, but it would fit. With any sort of an extended muzzle brake, it's not going to fit on there. So with this AK, with that muzzle brake, it's not going to fit. And then, if we move up to a... Hold on a second. To a full size AR with the stock, and again the stocks are in the number. Uh, this one's in the number four position. With the muzzle brakes on it, it's not going to fit. Now, yes, I could shorten the stock, and it'll fit. Okay, so again, this is the 36 inch bag. Leave the stock out where it is. It's not going to fit with that muzzle brake on. With a can on it, forget it. I mean, obviously, that's going to be that's going to be way too much for uh, for this particular bag. So, in my mind, the 36 is probably the most versatile out of all the bags. Because with the AK, with, other than an AK with a muzzle device, which you'd have to take off, but the ARs shorten the stock; it'll fit. Take a suppressor off; it'll fit. AK with a slanted brake on it will fit. What's not going to fit is if you um, if you have a, a longer muzzle device on the AK. All right, now we're going to go up to the 42. Yep, didn't want to do that. All right, this is the Drago. This bag I've probably had the longest, 42 inch. It's been a good bag. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is for the guns that I use, it's it's big. It's it's bigger than what I need, and I hate this. I hate this on the back. Yes, I can take these off, but then I I need to store them in the bag or keep them someplace if I ever wanted to use them. So otherwise, so, so this is they don't. It, it's just not nice and neat, which is the reason I don't like this. I, I know it's being nitpicky, whatever. My guns, my bags, I can be nitpicky if I want, but that's just the one thing that kind of irritates me about that. Um, the bag itself, again, you've got the three big pockets here on the front. You've got the mollies, you've got a big zipper pocket here. You also have, just like on the Tacticon, you've got the internal pockets. This is Ziploc. They may even be made by the same company in China. I, I don't know, other than some a few differences, but they're pretty much designed the same. Canvas on this one seems a little bit, I call it canvas, I'm not sure if it's canvas or what it is, a little bit thinner than on the Tacticon bag. Now on the inside, again, it's a double bag. This does not come out, and this is very thin. Remember on the, the Tacticon, this was doubled over and it was good. It was an inch thick because each side was a half inch. This is thin. This padding on the side is about three quarters of an inch. So again, it's not as padded as the Tacticon bag. But as far as size on this goes... Uh, there goes the Sandman. Okay. Um, obviously, AK is going to fit without any issues. Pull this back. Okay. Got the pockets on the side. And then of course the um, the Luru Tactical is going to fit as well. And with the stock extent. So this is the 42. I'm not sure I guess, I guess the, the main reason for this bag would be for the AKs with a muzzle device. Again, if I put the slant brake on, then I could use the 36. I wouldn't need a bag as large as this one. Uh, if I go with the, the PWC, PWS, obviously this with the can fits just fine. There's no problem. Slides right in. Um, I think that pretty much covers... What I want to go over with everybody, um, 
if you've got, like I said, if you've got any questions, um, want some more details, yes, I'm not a professional photographer, so you get to, to deal with my videos the way they are. <laughs> Sorry, it's the way it goes. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions over the stuff that I've posted, uh, good comments, bad comments, whatever, I read everything. If you want any additional information, need to know where I got some of this stuff, if you want to know where the small bag came from, let me know. I'll see if I can find that post. And um, that pretty much wraps up this video. The next one I'll probably do, I got some, some new Ear Pro. It's this axle um, that I haven't had a chance to get out to the range yet. Did some work around the house and stuff with it. Worked pretty good. Bluetooth works pretty good, but I haven't actually taken it out to a match. I'm going to take it out this weekend and uh, see if I like it or if I don't like it or what comments I may have on it. And I'll um, do a review on that too for some Air Pro. Hope you guys have an awesome night. Thank you for staying with the video. It may have been long-winded, but hey, it's the way it is. Uh, you guys have a great time. Enjoy your hobbies, and I uh, will talk to you later. Thank you for viewing. Bye.